Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore the steps that is needed to be able to run your C++ Android project inside the Android emulator using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So C++ is an object-oriented cross-platform language that can be used to create a high-performance application. But to be able to run the C++ Android application, there are certain steps that are needed to be taken. So let's get to it then. The first step is, of course, we have to open the Visual Studio installer. And as you can see, I've got it opened on the screen. Yeah. So once you have the Visual Studio installer opened, you click on the modify. So in this case, I'm using the Visual Studio Community 2019. So we click on the modify. So once we have this workloads open, we scroll down a bit and we look at this uh, mobile development with C++. So this actually allows you to build a cross-platform applications for iOS, Android, or Windows using the C++. You gotta make sure that you have this box checked. And then the next part is, of course, we click on the individual components. So once we, we clicked on this here, we, first we have to look for development activities. Development activities. So this development activity, so we, once we scroll down a bit, we have to check this box here. C++ Android development tools. So this is the core tools needed to be needed for creating and developing Android applications inside a Visual Studio, right? So the next part is we also look for SDKs, libraries, and frameworks. So we scroll down further and SDKs, libraries, and frameworks. So here you see the first bit, yeah, it's SD, uh, I mean, Android SDK setup for your local install for mobile development with C++. So if we put on it, so it's the Google Android framework and tools to build and test Android applications, right? So you got to make sure you have this box checked as well. So once you have this part done, then if we look at it here, I don't have, I mean, I already installed them, so there's nothing showing. But if it's your first install, you should be able to click on this part instead of closed to download and install all the workloads needed, right? So if once you're actually done with that part, yeah, then we closed, but obviously while doing that, you got to make sure that you have your Visual Studio closed while you do the download and installation part. So once that part is completed, then we, we open our Visual Studio and then we click on the create a new project. So if we, if we, we get to the create a new project dialog, then we select our language C++ and the platform which is android then the project types we're just going to leave it as it is right so here the first the first result is the c++ native activity application so this is actually this actually creates a complete c++ opengl application as an android native activity project and then the second one is the is the basic application this is the android and ant right so this actually is this actually helps you to create an Android Hello World application project that uses only Java source code and the Ant build system, right? So if we scroll down, yeah, there are multiple or multitudes of project types that you can actually create with a C++ for Android application, I mean for Android OS, right? So what we're actually going to do next is we're going to select one project and we run it on the, we run it with the emulator. So this is actually the main purpose of this video. So we select the native activity application, right? And then we click on the next. And here, obviously you can configure your project details, like the project name, the location and solution and whatnot, but we're not going to look too much into that. So we click on the create. So it might take it might take a while for the project to be created. So I'm just gonna have you, okay, it's created now. So we actually get um, 
we get two projects created, right? So there's the first one is the Android.native activity. So that's the main project. And then the second one is more like a resource project. So this is where we've got a project, I mean, application manifest um, and all the resources stuff, like the imaging, the values and whatnot, right? So here, obviously we've got the, the, the one header and then the main. We're not going to look too much into that as this is not specific specifically for coding it's just to get us started in terms of running the, the the sample template right so if we look at it here i've, I've actually got an emulator started right but it is actually showing offline here so you you, sh you will get these scenarios in most cases like if you're getting started for the first time so what you can do about it if you actually get this yeah is make sure that it's make sure that you know what processor your emulator is using as in my in this case here yeah, it's actually using the s86 so what i can do is just um change the arm to x86 and we should get the emulator working again so we can run it by just f5 in here clicking on the f5 so i would just it, it might take a while so i'm just going to pause it for it to run so this is actually what we get now when it's running so as you can see it's just um bouncing over colors right just popping colors it's, there's nothing really really important here so for your case I've actually got you started, yeah. So you can actually go further to actually develop it, whatever you want. So we're just gonna stop this from running and look inside, the, like explore the code. Oh, what we do is we're just gonna add one more project, right? To actually show the one that is, I've actually got a video on that, but the second project that uses the Java extension. So we just we're gonna look at that one as well. So if you look at it here, and if you look at it here now, we can also create the what I said earlier on, the the, the project Java extension, right? And still be able to run it with. See that's the code here. So it's it's a Java code. So we're still able to run it here as the same. So once we click on this part, yeah, let's see what actually comes out of it here. So I'm just gonna pause it. So as you can see here now, we've actually got also a Java Android application being able to run just because of the steps that we took earlier on, right? So I'm just gonna leave the video here. So we've actually achieved the main purpose of it, which is able to run a C++ Android project inside with the android emulator so i'm just gonna leave it here and i hope you explore it further yourself and once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are peace